In this video, we will explore how to launch a successful search ad campaign on Google Ads to enhance your online visibility and increase lead generation. Let's begin. Setting up your Google Ads account. It's your gateway to reach potential customers. To get started, head over to ads.google.com. If you already have a Google account, you're halfway there. If not, don't worry. Creating one is a breeze. You need to log in and enter your business name and website. Once you have your Google Ads account ready, we can dive into creating your first campaign. The next step is creating your campaign. Kick things off by clicking on plus new campaign. This is where you get to define your objective. For a car dealership, you typically want to drive website traffic. So, select that as your campaign goal. Next, choose search as your campaign type. This will ensure your ads show up when potential customers actively search for cars on Google. Now, Let's give your campaign a name. Make it something meaningful that aligns with your dealership's branding or the specific promotion you're running. Remember, this name is for your internal reference to identify the campaign quickly. Now that you've created your campaign, it's time to consider your bidding strategy. First, you need to choose a bidding category. As the main objective is to drive traffic to your website, clicks would be the best option. You're telling Google that you're willing to pay for every click on your ad, regardless of what happens after the user lands on your site. You can also set the maximum amount you'll pay for a click. This gives you control over your ad spend and ensures you're not paying more than what a click is worth to you. Then, customer acquisition setting helps you focus the advertising efforts on acquiring new customers than those who have previously interacted with your business. You have two bidding options here. Bid higher for the new customers than for the existing ones or bid only for the new customers. In both cases, you must include an audience segment with at least 1,000 active members in at least one network to help identify existing customers. In this case, we will bid equally for all new and existing customers. Then it's time to choose your campaign settings. The network setting in Google Ads allows you to determine where you want your ads to appear. There are two networks, Search and Display. In Search Network, your ads will appear on Google search results and other Google sites like Google Maps and Google Shopping when people search for terms that are relevant to your keywords. You can also include Google Search Partners, the non-Google websites that partner with Google to show ads like AOL. This network is particularly useful if you want to reach people actively searching for your products or services. In Display Network, your ads will show on Google Display Network sites. This includes millions of websites, news pages, blogs, and Google sites such as Gmail and YouTube. This network is ideal for brand awareness, retargeting, and reaching users while they are browsing other sites. In the Location setting, you can ensure the ads are shown to users in areas most relevant to your business, leading to higher conversion rates. In the Advanced section, you can enter the city's name to include or exclude. Also, a postal code can be used here. In Radius section, you can enter city name or your dealership postal code and set the radius to target customers nearby. In the next step, the language and characteristics of your audience can be selected. You can find many languages that your potential customers use in the search. In the audience segment, a specific group of people with common demographics, characteristics, and behaviors can be targeted. It makes your campaigns more effective by delivering messages that resonate more closely with those groups. You can target audiences based on their education and employment or choose them based on their interests. For example, you can select the audience actively searching for cars and narrow it down to new or used cars, Brands like BMW, Acura, GMC, and types like SUVs, sedans, and hybrids. Then we head to the More Settings section. There are a couple of important options, like Ad Rotation and Campaign URL. 
In the Ad Rotation section, Google Ads lets you rotate multiple ads within a single ad group. Google's algorithms can analyze which versions of your ads perform best, in terms of click-through rate or conversion rate. With some rotation settings, the system can serve the better performing ads more often. In the URL campaign settings, you can use UTM tracking URL, which enables you to tag your destination URLs with specific parameters. So you can later understand how your campaign performed and read and interpret data in analytics tools. Then you need to specify when the campaign will start and probably when you want it to end. You can also set a schedule for the campaign to reach your audience at the most suitable moments and optimize the budget. Now it's time to choose your keywords. Keywords allow advertisers to target users based on their search queries. When a user searches for a particular term or phrase on Google, and that term matches an advertiser's keyword, the ad could appear in the search results. By selecting appropriate keywords, advertisers can ensure their ads are relevant to the searcher's intent. It'll enhance the click-through rate. It's highly recommended to use long-tailed keywords, which are specific phrases containing three or more. For example, use pre-owned Ford Focus 2023 in Toronto. These keywords often face less competition, leading to higher search rankings and lower pay-per-click costs. Their specificity attracts searchers with clear intent resulting in higher conversion rates. Google Ads offers different keyword match types, such as broad, phrase, and exact. To avoid showing the ad to irrelevant users and have a reasonable impression of your ad, choose a phrase match using double quotations. Next, it's time to enter your final URL and display path. Then you must enter your ad headline, descriptions, images, logos, and site links. Consider that you must use the keywords in the headlines and descriptions as much as you can to optimize the ad and increase its strength. The last step is to set the daily budget. Some days you might spend less or more than your daily budget, but for a month, you won't pay more than your daily budget times the number of days in a month. Now you are done and ready to publish your campaign after reviewing the settings. If you found this video helpful and exciting, please help us keep going by giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with your fellow car dealers, and hitting that subscribe button. Glow3D.com, DIY and AI-powered media software for car dealerships.